instead of being taught what to think, they're being taught how to think. The teacher doesn't necessarily say what's right, what's wrong, but leading them down that road to how to think through an argument, how to think through different elements. I like the Socratic style of teaching because I feel like I'm actually thinking about what we're learning, and so if I'm thinking about it more, I learn it better. And if I come to the conclusions myself with the teacher helping, then I remember it better. If we're not inspiring wonder in our students, then they're not truly going to pursue wisdom and not truly going to appreciate the world that God has for them. And G.K. Chesterton, I think, saw that very clearly. The small, intimate setting, which it's going to take a lot more people to lose that. The fact that we've been able to have in-person learning and to start our day every day with mass, it doesn't get much better. The grace that she receives from going to mass every day and being able to go to confession or adoration at any time, I think that those are all really huge in her spiritual life. All throughout the week in Chesterton, you're in that, you know, waking up stage. You're constantly confronted with that, you know, I'm going to Mass today. So it really holds you accountable all throughout the week, not just one day. So it's not just a school with a great theology program. Every class is a theology program. <laughs> the center is Christ. So every class brings that spirit into what they're teaching. The goal is not to become virtuous by the time you graduate, by the time you turn 18. The goal is not to achieve wisdom, to know everything there is to know about Western civilization and our great Western patrimony. That's not the goal, right? The goal is to plant the seeds so that hopefully you can have an intellectual life as an adult and a serious moral life and spiritual life that's rooted in the faith, rooted in the church fathers, and rooted in the greatest thinkers of Western civilization.